You. What's going on, everybody? Game of Beers back with uh, part three of Paper Mario. This is the west entrance to Toad Town, in case you couldn't tell, it's the main gate. Is what Goombario said. Fancy gate and the star emblem on the ground are symbols of this fair town. Goomba Village, where my house is, you fucking bias prick, is a brief journey west from here. You'll find a very smart toad named Rusty living in this town, because he's Rusty, get it? He knows lots of useful information for adventurers. I believe he's in that building right behind us, actually. You'll also find shops that sell various items. Oh yeah, there's also a dojo. Thanks, buddy. So, uh, I'm a little nasally congested here, if you can't tell. I think this is Rusty. Ah, oh, salutations. You are Mario, are you not? Of course, I know who you are. I'm the wise toad, Rusty. Pleasure meeting you. As you can probably tell, I love books and read all the time because I'm so well read, I know all sorts of interesting facts. Whenever you visit with me, I'll be happy to share all of my knowledge with you. Well, so what do you got for me? Well, what's your knowledge? So it is told that far away at the very top of the sky there exists a star haven where stars make their home. In Star Haven, there's a treasure called the Star Rod. According to legend, it was made with ancient magic. There are said to be stars that are particularly strong and good-hearted. They are called Star Spirits. Using the magical Star Rod, these Star Spirits grant the wishes of everyone in this world. That's why when we make a wish to the night sky and it comes true, it all thanks to the Star Spirits and the Star Rod. If there's anything else you wish to know, please feel free to ask me. Well, well let's, let's see what else you can find out. What'd you got? How about a little time information on how to operate the control? Oh, fuck off. No, no, no! Okay, good. I don't really ever go to him, honestly. Let's go visit Luigi. This episode, we left off... Pretty much, I said I was gonna explore Toad Town a little bit. Just to get you uh, familiar with the hub world. I wonder what my brother Mario is doing right now. <clears throat> Whoa, Mario, it's you. Good to see you. And you're alright, after all that castle of craziness, I was very worried about you. I ran outside just as the earthquake had started, so I managed to escape in time. He fucking, he ran away like a little pussy, that's why. Luigi. Oh. Please don't stomp on my Goomba. Kinda need him. Oh, and who are you? I'm Goombario, nice to meet you. I see, great, just great. You're in an exciting adventure with Mario. Talk about the unfair. See, someone has to look after this house, so I can't leave. Oh well, take care of Mario, okay? So after every, uh, this game is broken down into chapters as an RPG. So after every chapter, if you come back to Luigi's house, he's always doing something different. Uh, uh he's got interesting, uh, topics to talk about and, and, you know, be in different positions. Uh, not sexual positions, but you know what kind of positions I mean. This is, uh, I think you can view your stats here. Badge is collected 3 out of 80, star pieces 3 out of 160. I don't know what the question marks mean. Your first strikes, enemies first strikes, blah blah blah. What? Oh, why can't I move? What's Kumbari have to say about this? It's your house! Cool, nice landscaping! I like my house, but yours is even nicer. Did you do the decorating yourself? Obviously. Here's a box where letters just to Mario go. It's empty right now. Sad. So that's like where postcards go. Uh. No, I don't need to sleep. You can sleep here for free. Imagine that. Sleep for free in your own bed. That's all. I mean, Peach is in the sky getting God knows who what by Bowser and God knows what. And we're just gonna take a nap. Uh, that sounds good. <clears throat> I don't remember what I was talking about. That's a problem with me. I get off topic a lot. I don't think... A lot of these places you don't really need to go into. I don't know why I'm going into it. The earthquake when the castle flew away was terrifying. Everything was shaking. The ground, the houses, I fell right over. <laughs> It was so horrifying that I just like to forget it ever happened. Oh, busy, busy. The room doesn't get tidied up when my darlings are at home. My dad works at the castle, so he's not at home usually. But now the castle's gone, so he's at home. Fucking jeez. When I said I'm glad because dad's at home, I got scolded. What's up with that? Princess Peach is kidnapped, so I'm going to save her. But mom told me I had to be good boy and stay home. Now how come? Oh, if only we could just jump, like, an extra two feet. We're not gonna get that for a long time. That's in, like, chapter s five or six-ish. This is the item shop. Where you buy items, imagine that. Welcome to Shroom Grocery. How can I help you today? Let's, I'm, I'm gonna try and buy. If there's anything you wanna buy, stand in front of it and press A. A. Honey syrup is very useful. 
Hell yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, that's it. That's all about her now. <clears throat> Just trying to get you familiar with it. Talk to a couple of toads. Hey, Mario, did you know you can carry up to ten items? When you can't carry any more items, it's a good idea to go to a shop like this and ask them to hold items for you. You can even clean the items at any other shop. Pretty convenient, huh? That is pretty convenient. Imagine that in a video game. We're going to see these three bitches. Uh, they're going to move around the toad town a lot. And they talk in, like, synchronization type thing. Peach's castle flew away. How could such a thing happen? What? But what, it'll become a Princess Peach and the others who were in that castle. I'm scared. I'm scared. Hey, Felicia T. I am so scared. I assume because she said her name that she's going to be important, like, and you deliver, like, a letter to her or something. I don't know. I don't remember. Well, have you gone back to your house yet? Luigi was wondering how you were doing. You can go through that pipe in front of the main gate over there. You can enter the pipe by standing on the edge and pushing down on the controls there. Say, why don't you give me a tour of your house someday? No, man, fuck off. Both of us on the top floor, there's a dojo. We are here, always training at the dojo. Unless our master isn't here, in which case the dojo is closed. I better just arrive saying the master will return soon. We will train again soon. That's the dojo. I don't remember why the point of that was. I think it's just like a, you get like a little certificate. Now, this is the main part of Toad Town that you really... Oh, look at that. Sweet. Oh. <clears throat> The theft of our castle caused great destruction here. If the worst of it happened in the center of town, it seemed to rain wood. Rain wood. As a result, we can't get the southern part of town. Ah, oh, that's what he's saying. So, I mean, instead of a uh, town news flash, Princess Peach is kidnapped. Castle uprooted. A few days ago, Princess Peach's castle was stolen. She was inside and was presumed kidnapped or dead. The whereabouts of the princess are unknown, and where the castle once stood there is now a gaping hole in the ground. According to witnesses, the castle rose into the sky. As soon as we get new information, we'll post follow-up reports on this board. I think there's something, like a secret in the back here. The underground news. I'm scribbling on the back of the notice board. How naughty. I heard Mario was defeated by Bowser. How ominous. A ghost-up living toad. Thanks. But, uh... Anyway, like, go, if you go over here, they impede your progress. So this is for, like, the next chapter. They, the wood falling from the sky bullshit. There's a glitch you can get past. This. I don't remember how to do it, but... I'm not even going to talk to him. So you don't need to go there right now. I'm just wasting time. But, uh... Water and dirt, sunshine, power, beautiful blooms, beautiful flowers! Hello, my name is Minty. Please enjoy the beauty of this flower garden. I've heard there's a lovely flower we don't have here, supposedly. Bubbles have the only known seeds. This is what a bubble looks like. How do you... I thought you just said you didn't have the seed. You didn't know what he... Alright. If you find a bubble, could you get seeds for me? I plant them in this flower to go out and raise them lovingly. I've come to deliver my seed! <clears throat> they have magical powers, so we're gonna see that later on in the game. Why is it a little laggy right now? Look at Minty, always with the flowers. She's as pretty as a rose. Just watching her from a distance makes me happy and stalkerish. Uh, yeah, I have full health. I saved already before. Post office, your basic stuff. This is the, the dude we saw before deliver Mario's mail in the beginning of the game. Yes, hello, this is the post office. You can read any letters that arrive for you or for your other party members. Please drop by now and then to check and see if you receive any mail. Well, oh, you seem to have some mail. Which one would you like to read? It's fucking Goombario. God, I hate reading this shit. The red and blue Goomba that we beat in the part two. Here you go. Gumbario, you were a lot stronger than you looked. Uh, we figured you were just some punk Goomba hanging around with Mario. Anyway, you proved yourself to us, and you showed us that being good is as important as being strong. So, when you come back, do you think maybe we could be friends? Please say yes. Please, pretty please. We'll be waiting, Red and Blue Goomba Brothers. We'll keep the letters for you. Come on by any time you want to read some letters. It's a nice touch, like, interesting detail, but it's unnecessary, really. My name's Paracarry. I deliver letters. Thanks. Spoiler alert, he's gonna be a partner eventually when we see him. Uh, what am I supposed to do now? I know where I'm supposed to go. We're supposed to go to Shooting Star Sign. Blue pole in front of the post office? That's a road sign. You can't find out. You can find out what's where in Toad Town by checking out the signs. I'm sure you know it's read all the signs. I actually don't think. Fuck off. I don't think I've actually like, read these before. Peach's Castle, Main Gate, Pleasant Path, Pleasant Path, Port Station. So fuck it, let's uh, let's head over to Peach's castle. That's so sad. At least the fountain was like untouched. Besides, I mean it's a little broken, but and this guy's just chilling here. 
I can't believe that Princess Peach's castle was here just a little while ago. Whoa! I was in the castle when it started to shake, but my lightning quick feet got me out after trampling all those small children. I know Luigi made it out along with maybe a few others, but everyone else was taken. <laughs> oh, how many laws did Bowser break for doing that? Kidnapping, burglary. Can you steal someone's house? Is that even legal? Ah! <clears throat> ah, ah. Shooting stars on it. And there's also another path over here. There's a waste. Looking for something? Drop by Myrtle Lovely's place. Interesting. These Myrtle Lovely, she is a. Uh, there's a star piece over here. Or. Maybe later on in the game we'll find that one. Because that's a huge open space. But, like, that person, Myrtle Lovely, and uh, that other spinning top house was Merlin's house, or Merlon. All these little, they should look familiar to you. They are from like Thousand Year Door and Super Paper Mario. My name is my lovely. I think, but I think they're they're all different people, but they have the same names. It's weird, but they pretty much do the same thing. My twinkle star here will show me all that's hidden. My my, tell me, shall I read your fortune? Yeah, sure. Oh, fuck off with that. So this is the bitch. She uh, you're supposed to have star pieces. This is where you trade your star pieces in. And she's gonna tell you like where some star pieces are. I'm the famous Merlot of Shooting Star Summon. I collect star pieces. I have the biggest collection. Mister, you have any star pieces? If you do, I'll swap some cool bags for them. How about it? Let's swap. Yeah, sure. I probably don't even have enough. Oh, I do. Changes the sound effects from my ears. Blah, blah, blah. Some of these are stupid. Keeps you from being hit by your first strike. Uh, yeah, I don't really care. These are good badges, but... Uh, yeah, fuck it. So I don't really. There's a lot of badges in this game. I never really used a lot of them, though. It would be very helpful if you did. This chest, by the way, it, it has a matching chest in Princess Peach's castle. So, uh, you're gonna see later, you can put shit in it and it, like, transports it, teleports it into that. Anyway, I wasted enough time. We're already 12 minutes in. So, this is where we were, where we were supposed to go shooting star summon. Where we're supposed to find Eld Star. This this episode is, I mean, the beginning stage is really of any game. Like I, I I like to like show people around, even though some people who played this game before like they know exactly what to do, and this is just complete waste for them. But it, it's nice when you're like in, because I like to appreciate artwork and the game itself, and show people around. You know, give you a little tour. Welcome, Mario. We've been waiting for you. <clears throat> We're the Seven Star Spirits. Our job is to grant the wishes of good people from our home in Star Haven, a place high beyond the sky. We're going to tell you something incredibly important. Please listen carefully. The other day, Bowser and his followers invaded our peaceful Star Haven. They stole our prized treasure, the Star Rod, which we've cared for since the beginning of time. The Star Rod is powerful beyond belief. It can grant any wish. For as long as we can remember, Bowser has been making wishes like, for instance, I like to trounce Mario, or I want Princess Peach to like me, or I want a huge ass dick. Of course, stars ignore such selfish wishes. As a result, his wishes were never granted. Bowser, that fiend! When he found out that we were ignoring his wishes, he came and stole the star out so he could grant his own wishes. He seems content right now, mainly because he defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough, though, I fear he will wish for more, and then terrible things will happen. It is the responsibility of the Star Spirits to keep the Star uh, Rod safe and use it properly. We must get the Star Rod back from Bowser and return it to its rightful place. In order to do this, Mario, we need your help. Sadly, right now you are not strong enough to challenge Bowser. He was made a... Uh, I can't fucking read today. He has made himself all powerful by making wishes with the Star Rod. He's terrible to behold. God, there's so much dialogue! Once we seven star spirits are reunited in Star Haven, we can give you the power to fight Bowser, even with his newfound strength. With our help, we can prevail. What about you? Why am I going to prevail? Mar I didn't read that. What? Why did he skip that? Alas, we've nearly exhausted our power to talk to you. Although it looks like we're there beside you, it is only an illusion. We are using all of our strength to communicate with you over a great distance, but even now our strength is fading. We've been caught and are being held by Bowser's followers in different places throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Please, Mario. First of all, you must rescue us. Yeah, sure. 
In order to take the Star Rod back from Bowser and save Princess Peach, we need your help. Please, Mario. You are our last hope, and we will... Five dollars, Gabario says something stupid. Yeah, you fuck. Mario, looks like things are a lot more serious than I thought. You think the princess is going to be alright? I'm really worried about her. Cutscene. Good grief. I love these parts. I'm telling you, we're still in the intro stages. The first three episodes, we're already like fucking almost an hour and a half in. <laughs> Sniffle. And it's just all still intro. Mario's probably hurt. Everyone's in prison. It's all my fucking fault. Why did I have to throw this party? The Mushroom Kingdom will be destroyed if things continue the way they're going. Something must be done. If only somebody could help me. I love Bowser's theme. This is awesome for a Nintendo 64 game, man. <laughs> my dear Princess Peach, how are you doing this fine day? It's no use waiting for Mario this time, my dear. We're so high above the sky right now, and so high in general, that even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. You know, Princess, as long as I have the star out, no one's in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. Inappropriately. You know the power that grants everyone's wishes? It's mine! <laughs> Imagine what it's like down in your kingdom. Your subjects must be so upset because their wishes aren't being granted. That's like me on a daily basis. I never get my wishes granted. They've treated us Koopas over the years. They deserve it. Blah, blah, blah. If you know what, if you, you, you know what, anything, all you need to do is ask me, Princess. I, I can grant wishes, you know. Of course, I'll only grant requests that I like. Anyway, think about it. You want some sexual desires? Hey, I'll make it come true for you, baby. You take care of Mrs. Peach. Enjoy your stay here. It's my fucking castle anyway. Of course I'm gonna enjoy my stay. It's basically the same thing. I just can't go outside. You watch yourself, Princess. You better not cause any trouble. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, God. You know, it's a lot rougher when your voice is, like, all shot right now. I'm all congested. Oh, please, if only somebody could help me. You already said that before. Huh? <laughs> Boom! Um, I'm pretty sure he would've just went flying from getting smashed by the door when she opened it. Hello, Princess Peach. Pleased to meet you. My name is Twink. But you're... you're a star kid, aren't you? How'd you get here? I came from Star Haven to grant your wish. It's our job to grant wishes, you know. It's not your job, it's the Star Spirit. Oh, you came because I wished that somebody could help me? Yes, of course. Oh, that's just great. Thank you so much for coming. Here's my wish. Go right now and take that star right back from Bowser, okay? Think you can do it? He's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, so sorry, that's a little much for a novice star like me. Maybe one of the honorable star spirits from Star even could grant a wish like that. I'm so sorry. Please ask for something easy, something a small star can do. Then can you take me away from here? Everyone in my castle has been captured, and I have to save them all as soon as possible. You're not doing shit. Even if he saved you, what were you gonna do? Like, fly back up here and save the people? You can't fucking fight, only in Super Smash Bros. I'm sorry, I can't grant that wish either, I'm afraid. Actually, I just got called up to the sky a day ago, so I can't do big wishes yet. I really am useless, to be honest with you. If I were a more splendid star, maybe I could actually help. It's alright, but why the fuck did you come here? Don't be sad, Twink. Mario will definitely do something to save us all. He's probably coming right now. Oh, Twink! Do you think you can find Mario? I want you to give this to him. Oh, I thought she was gonna, like, kiss him. <clears throat> this is a lucky star, isn't it? Okay, I'll do it, Princess Peach. I'll fly to the Mushroom Kingdom just as quick as I can. Oh, wait, Twink! Wait one second! Can you also... Please tell Mario that. Yes, yes. I'm fine and he shouldn't worry, okay? Can you tell him that? He's not worrying. Of course, I'll tell him in your exact words, Princess Peach, definitely. Now don't despair, I'll be back soon, so stay safe until I return, okay? How nice, what a nice twink. I love this ballad right now, listen. Mario, where are you? I think that was like Peach's despair, it's called, or something. Uh, and here comes a little Twinkie. Ouch, you fuck! I'm oh, sorry, sorry, so sorry, I'm in a huge hurry. You got down here pretty fucking fast. 
Oh, it's you're Mario, aren't you? Thank the stars I found you. Okay, all right, calm down, kid. Calm down. How do you do? I'm Twink. Princess Peach asked me to bring something to you. Uh, oh yes, here it is. H here, this is it. Take it. A star-shaped pendant lets you use the action command. Finally, we can learn the action command that I've been talking about since episode one. That's the lucky star from Princess Peach. Now that it's yours, you can use the action command. May I take a moment to explain what these action command is? I guess I have to do that, don't I? Okay, let me explain. Let me see. Hang on, you, behind Mario, would you mind helping me demonstrate something? Me? The name's Gumbario. Of course I'll help. I hate Gumbario, he's such a little pussy. Well, Mario and Gumbario, let's begin. So basically, we get to beat the shit out of Gumbario now. Finally! This is what I've been waiting for all game. Where's Mario? Choose the jump command and then decide which enemy you want to attack. Oh, I'm beating the shit out of you, boy. You're getting crushed. Once you decide on the enemy, the explanation of the action command will appear. Right now. You can hear me pressing the button. Press A at exactly this moment. <clears throat> it lets you attack twice, basically. It doubles your attack thing. When you see nice appear, it means you've successfully used the action command. When you do, you'll increase the amount of damage you do. Okay, now this time, Gobar, you try to protect Mario. Okay, here it comes, Mario. I'm getting tired already. Come on, I'm pressing the A button. See, and then Mario blocks it. It increases your attack and your defense. This was used in Super Mario RPG as well. And the rest of the, uh... Paper Mario series. Well, I guess it's just Thousand Year Door, really. Often you'll have to use different techniques to make use of the action. Oh, oh, oh. Try attacking by hammer. <clears throat> See, uh, come on, buddy. Move the control stick to the left to keep it there. Yes, I fucking get it! Yes. Thank you. See, it is cool that it's different techniques for, like, uh, how you perform a, a move. It's interesting about the RPG, it's not just one set, like, move, and, and the move has a power-up or nothing. Practice a bit to make sure you've mastered how to use it properly. No, I'm good. You don't need to practice anymore? Nope, that's not my You're a quick learner. Thank you. Well, I guess that's about all I can teach you. I've only done that, like, a thousand times! Once you understand how to use the edge command, probably you'll be even more powerful. I'm very upset we're, like, oh, 20 minutes in already. And we haven't done anything. Oh, fuck off, buddy. I can't take this, I just want to play the game and go continue, I want to save Peach. What a foolish star kid, I knew that if I followed you I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now I'll be famous. I'll tell Cammy Cooper she'll shower me. Not with praise, she'll just shower me. <clears throat> I'm beating the shit out of you. Ready? Oh look, mastered it already. Is he dead already? Awesome. Alright, that was that didn't go very well. I hate those moves because you can't tell. I anticipate them coming a little later. Or quicker, I don't know. That's why I hate defensive moves. Yeah, thank you. Sweden you give me a 15? 15 star points, awesome. But dinner ding. Well done, Mario. You're as strong as they say. We just murdered some guy, and this star is like totally okay with it. I know that you'll be able to defeat Bowser. Can you go now? I'm going to return to Princess Peach's side. I'm not strong enough to really help her, but at least I can tell her you're okay. Well, Mario, see you later. That's a quick interaction. Oh, fuck off, bro! Oh, dear, I almost forgot to tell you the message from Princess Peach. I'm alright, so don't worry about me. That's exactly what she said. I get the feeling, though... That she's very lonely. Anyway, I'll do my best to help the both of you. But please be brave. You must save Princess Peach. Why can't you do it? Why uh, Why is everything gonna be on Mario? Mario can't do this anymore. There he goes, back to Bowser's castle. What a brave little guy. Okay, Mario, let's get down to business. I think we're good. I don't think there's gonna be any more interruptions now. What are we, 25 minutes in? 24 minutes in? No more interruptions. Let's go. <sighs> oh, fuck. Oh, Mario. Merlon was looking for you. He lives in that house with a spinning roof. He asked me to tell you to go meet him at his house. I was just about to go look for you, but here you are. It's rare for Merlin to call somebody over to his house. He's a bit eccentric, even when he has visitors. It's rare for him to come out of the house at all. I started over eccentric, but I know what that means. I don't know why I started over it. 
Alright, so I'm just gonna talk to these fellas because I have to. You don't wanna go out there, it's way too dangerous. Going to Cooper Brothers Fortress would be a huge mistake. Definitely, definitely don't go. Most of all, though, you shouldn't go ask old man Merlon for help. That would be really bad news for us. I, I mean, for you. Don't even think about it. Those are weird looking toads, huh? Interesting. <clears throat> you just fucking called me to your house, bro. I'm telling you, he's out. Ow! I don't like to bitch slap you. What the Why is someone sleeping in front of my house? Wait a minute. The face seems very familiar to me. Yeah, it's all flattened. Oh, maybe. No, yes, it must be. You're Mario. I've been waiting for you. I know. You should have come earlier. Uh, well, you're here now. Come in. I'm pretty sure before, if you, before you went to the star summon, if you just kept knocking on the door, he wouldn't answer. Where to begin? My name is Merlon. I'm a wizard. When I was reading the stars the other day, an oracle came to me. What I discovered is very important, and it concerns you. But before I tell you about it, there are other things of which I must speak. It's a very long story, but I'll try to shorten it. Where would I start? It was in the old days. One of my ancestors was up on shooting stars, so and as usual. But one day it happened. Suddenly, a great appeared knight, standing face to face. Then a far away, the PS was, raised me up. It was amazing. It was all philosophical. Ph philosophical. Philosophical? I was still so young then. I believe in, but our hearts were... And then... Uh, wait, I... Thank God. Couldn't deal with sitting through another one of those. <sighs> See, I told you, Merlon. He's the same dude from a uh, Super Paper Mario and all that. They're, they're just wizards, basically. Interesting creatures. Huh? Hey, Mario! Were you listening to me? Yeah. Yeah, I was. Oh, alright. So anyway, that that is why I'm able to help you. That's like an ongoing joke, too, that Mario just falls asleep during, like, these long conversations. If you get lost during your adventure, you can come to me. I can predict the path you should take for a small price. Right now, your main goal must be to save Princess Peach as quickly as humanly possible. According to my second sight, your path must first take you to the Great Fortress of the Cooper Brothers. To reach the Cooper Brothers Fortress, head east on the road in front of the Toad House. Yeah, I was already there. Come again? Strange Toads blocking the east side of Toad Town? That shouldn't be. That's ridiculous. Such a thing has never been heard of. Never. I'll get to the bottom of this. Follow me over there. I'll see what's going on. Wait! Wait for me! Hey! <laughs> I told you that you can't pass. Take off! Fuck off! Hmm. You aren't toads, are you? Uh, we don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, what gives? Ask anyone. We're just cute, ordinary toads hanging out. It's because they're black. That's the problem. You notice? Reveal your true selves. That's why they have a problem with them. They're black toads. <laughs> just as I thought. You're the Koopa Brothers. How How do you guess it was us? We were perfectly disguised. Shucks. Black, yellow, green. We retreat for now. And the star spirit is left unguarded again. Mario, those imposters were none other than the Koopa Brothers. You must pursue them to their hideout, the Koopa Brothers Fortress. Let me know if you like me reading this dialogue stuff. I mean, if you can read it and you want me to skip it and, and just commentate over it. To get to the Koopa Brothers Fortress, you'll need help from a blue-shelled Koopa. A blue-shelled Koopa? This is a strange portent. In Koopa Village, you might find something that will clear it up. I must return home now. Oh, we got a long journey ahead of us. I'm gonna save, just in case. We're technically out of time now, but I'm gonna keep going for like a few more minutes at least. Chapter one, finally! I should have stopped it right there, actually. Storm in Koopa Brothers Fortress. Interesting Easter egg, ready? If you hold on. Maybe. Yes. It's coming. Ha ha, there we go. Only discovered this like a few years ago. All right, let's go. Oh, come on. Thank you. Thank God for that action command. <clears throat> These guys are easy. 
Pretty sure that's the last one. He's dead. <laughs> so we are now on the road to Koopa Brothers Fortress. Oh yeah, by the way, like I said, I was saying before and I got distracted. If you like me reading the dialogue, let me know. I'm not that many people are commenting on it anyway. But, uh... Yeah. If you don't want me to read it, then that's fine too. I'm, I'm not gonna be hurt by it. I'm just trying to be a little creative about it. It gives me something to talk about too. When I have to read the shit. God, my, my voice, my nose, my congestion... Luke isn't... There's gotta be like... An invisible block somewhere around here. <laughs> Kill him. <clears throat> I'm not gonna. Eventually, I'm not gonna like just keep fighting every enemy that I see because then it's gonna get really boring. But I, I like to level up a little bit in the beginning. Makes it easier. Even if you're just getting the four, four star points. I'm sweating my balls off right now. Oh my god. Badge. What's that one? This is a dizzy thing? Dizzy attack. What was a blow that- I didn't read it. I skipped an accent, sorry. I don't really use that either, honestly. Fright Jar! That's a fun one, that's a good item. I'll save that for later, to see what it does. I know what it does, but... Oh! This is- this is the adventure now. Sweet. Bitch. <clears throat> I like to attack the Koopas first because they, uh, they waste a turn trying to just get up. So if he gets up, they're not going to attack you. It's awesome. Boom, slab And this fuck should be dead too now. Boop, with the boop. Good job, Gumbario. Oh, what? He's not dead? See ya! I can't wait to get rid of Gumbario. I hate him. This is the only time you're gonna see Gumbario in the game, I'm telling you. I'd never take him out, ever. It was like Gumbella, too, in the, the Thousand Year Door. As soon as I got the next partner, she was gone. Useless, I tell you. Useless. There's a little guy up there. Oh, fuck. I didn't get it. Damn it. See, this is a good time to switch. Switch people. I'll kill the fucking Goomba. And then, uh... Then we hammer it out. Eventually we're gonna get a badge that's gonna allow us to jump on spiked enemies. So, yay. You gotta appreciate the music. Gotcha. This is so violent, right? Like, Mario just beats the shit out of everyone. Alright, we're gonna have some trouble here now. I don't feel like using an item either. So I might as well show you what happens to Goombario if he gets hurt. Or I could just tattle. This is a spiked Goomba. Spiked Goombas are Goombas with spikes on the hands. Thank you, Einstein. Exit point two, attack power two, defense power zero. Whatever you do, don't jump on the spikes and you'll get hurt or even paralyzed. So Goombario does that. He basically just like dies. In Thousand Year Door, your partner actually has health. In this game, like, if you attack your partner once, he's pretty much out for a couple of turns. It's kind of, it kind of sucks. It's kind of shitty when you really need your partner to. Because that extra attack power makes a huge difference. I think there's an invisible block somewhere around here. There's gotta be one around. Come on. Stay in one spot. Stop jumping around. What are you doing? Ah! Got ya. Got ya, fucker! Oh man, there's a lot of them. Shit. Alright. That's pussy. Might as well kill him. See, like, a long jump like that fucks me up when I try to do the action command. My dog is barking. I don't know if you can hear that. She needs to stop right now. Ding, 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 ding. 
I think I'm gonna stop as soon as I get to Koopa Village. We're a little late on time, but that's okay. If you've made it this far, God bless you, because that whole, the first 20 minutes of this was bullshit. There's too much shit going on, man. I hate trying to explain it. This isn't even a let's play. This is more like a, a, a let's walk. It's a walkthrough and a let's play at the same time. A let's walk. Toad Town, Koopa Village, Fortress, Koopa Village. I don't think we are actually able to get over here. Where are we? Oh, chill. We're supposed to go into Koopa Village. Ah, there we go. The Koopa Brothers. See, we can't get over there yet, so we have to get to Koopa Village. Which is fine with me. I'm okay with that. We'll, we'll take care of these idiots later. Here's a little fun thing that I discovered, like, my first time ever playing this game. Free health! That was a lot of fun. Alright. There's too much shit going on. Badge for me. No? What the hell's the point of that? There's gonna be like... I probably missed a whole bunch of invisible blocks. Oh man. Hey B, are you Mario? Welcome to Koopa Village. I wish we could really welcome you, but you're in uh, big trouble. We're in big trouble. Can't you see what kind of menace is going on? These are nice Koopas, apparently. All of the someone's from like, Super Mario Brothers that he would beat the shit out of. Anyway, this village is an uproar because of the fuzzies. You, do you know what fuzzies are? Like, don't you? You know what fuzzies are like? Oh, don't you, Mario? Sorry. They look like this. They're from Super Mario World, I believe. Mean guys, they're really naughty. I absolutely hate these fuckers. They are the most annoying creatures ever. Oh no, stupid fuzzy, get back here with my shell. So, here's what you don't want to do. Don't start attacking all of them. And I'll leave you with that. There's a way to get rid of all of them at one shot instead of like attacking individually. Save completed. But anyway, that's it for this part. We are a little late on time and we didn't really get much done, but welcome to chapter one. Hopefully it's smooth sailing from here and no more bullshitting. No more long ass dialogues, but that's about it. So, uh, I'll see you next week. Uh, comment, like it, whatever you want. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Shit on my life. I don't care. Anyway, take care, everybody. See you in the next, uh, the next part.